Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to find the natural response of the system and uh, this system is having the roots as real, only real. There is only one root that is real and we will find out how we can write the homogeneous equation of this system if the roots are only real. That means there is only one root and that is real. So I have already discussed two conditions that is real and repeated and real and non-repeated that means real and discrete in previous videos so first watch those videos and then come to this video why am i telling you to go to previous videos and come to this video is this is a very short video you will not gain that much of knowledge here but if you will see that video and then you will come over here then this question will be really easy to you even if you know the concept then it is easy for you you can continue the video so let's start solving this equation so what are the necessary things to find out the natural response first the initial conditions should be considered and the input should be equal to zero so to find zero input response the input should be equal to zero so we will get this equation as equal to zero now let's consider this as one and this as two now what we will do is this is a second order of homogeneous equation but the general form the general form of homogeneous equation equation is equal to y h of n is equals to lambda to the power n so we will consider this as equation 3 and we will substitute in equation 2 so we will get 5 lambda plus 10 lambda to the power of n minus 1 equal to 0 now we will take this common lambda n minus 1 and then we'll get 5 lambda and then plus 10 into 1 this is equal to 0 so we will take this term as 0 5 lambda plus 10 equal to 0 so then what we will get the lambda value lambda will be equal to minus 2 so now we have got the root as real now how to form the homogeneous equation so as the roots are real the homogeneous equation will become y h of n is equals to c1 into e to the power of minus lambda power into n now we have to find out the c1 value over here so for that what we will do is we will consider this as equation 4 and we will substitute n equal to 0 in this equation so we will get y of 0 is equals to c1 into e to the power of minus lambda into 0 anything power 0 is equals to 1 so this is equal to c1 so we got y of 0 is equals to c1 as we see in the initial conditions we have y of 0 equal to 3 so how can we write it 3 is equals to c1 and hence we found out the c1 value that is equal to 3 now what we will do is we will substitute this value in the equation 4 to get the natural response of the system so we will write y n of n is equals to 3 into e to the power of what is the lambda value minus 2 minus 2 and then n so we got 3 into e to the power of 2 n so this is our natural response of the system if the root is real that's it and never forget to write for all n greater than or equal to 0 so yeah that's it that's how we find the natural response of the system if the root is real so i hope you have understood everything over here because these are taken from the previous videos only if you don't know that concept then you will not understand even one line of the solution then please go and watch the previous videos to understand these and uh, yeah that's it for this video like the video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos because it motivates me to make more videos like these which will help you to clear your exams and not to get uh, backlogs in your semester so that's how i wanted to help you and uh, yeah thanks for watching